Have you ever wondered how to have large amount of enemies spawn in your map without hurting the FPS too much? Have you tried spawning the enemies in the Unreal Engine and it just crashes your FPS so quickly? If you stick around, I may have a solution for you to actually get over it. Now, let me show you an example of what I have here. As you can see in this clip, I have spawned over 120 enemies in one shot, 132 to be exact, and be able to maintain about a solid 40 FPS with all of these minions, the textures on the ground, and also these large assets in the background with Nigro FX added to it as well. I've only done one simple trick to be able to achieve this, and this is what I'm going to show you today. I have recreated everything on a brand new map just so that the external factors don't affect it, removed all of the um, bigger assets, and kept only the AI and also the player, and removed everything else to see exactly how many enemies we can spawn before we take a hit to our FPS to drop it below 30. So let's run this and take a look. As you can see, I was able to manage to spawn in 262 enemies on the screen at all at one time and also maintain the FPS about 30. You can see a small dip down to like 29, but it comes back to 30, so 30, 31. So it's averaging at about 30. This is without making any improvement to the system overall. Now let's make some changes and let me start with the size map. Go to our content drawer, right click on the enemy and then take a look at the size map and also on the memory size, not the disk size. Immediately you see that each enemy is 261.4 megabytes in the map. So we can actually go even further to take a look at why this is the case. So the entire blueprint is 261. The skeletal mesh alone is 261.3. So the blueprint is only like 0.1. So if I double click on the skeletal mesh, you can see all of these extra textures that is being used is adding on to this entire 261. Now, even the skeletal mesh is 261.3 and the material M buff white is 260. So our skeletal mesh is only 1.3 megabytes. So that's nothing. So if I double click on this M buff, then you see all of these materials which are impacting our performance here. To fix this, what you can do is right click on this actual material one by one. It's, it's a long process, but it's well worth it at the end. Click on browse to asset. What this is going to do is it's going to get you the actual content browser with all of the textures that is related to this iron rust. So the easiest way to fix this is select all of it. You can press control A, right click, go to asset actions, and then select edit selection in property matrix. In here, you'll be able to edit all of these materials at the same time without having to go it one by one. So under the compression, we're gonna open this up and there is a maximum texture size. Now the maxim maximum texture size goes from 256 to 512 to 1024 and so on and so forth. You can use 256 if the enemy is gonna be far away and uh, when the enemy is really close, you can really see a drop in their uh, texture quality. Now, based on where my camera is set up, we don't really care about how much the texture quality is because the player is never going to see the texture quality. So I can set this to 256 and then I can press enter. And then now I can press save. Go back to our size map again and we're going to open it up again. Now, if I click on size map, you would notice it's already dropped by like 30 megabytes. If I go to M buff white, the rust is no longer here. And now we'll move down to the next one. So let me go ahead and make all of this material 256 and let me show you how that looks like. Now with only a handful of textures reduced down to uh, 256, you can already see the entire enemy file has dropped down to only 33. We have reduced 230 megabytes of the file size on our memory just by reducing our texture quality from the max quality to the lowest quality possible. Now you can keep increasing the quality on it until you, you find the median ground where the quality is good. But for a map like this, and if you're playing specially top down, you don't really, the quality is not really gonna matter here because the player's really not gonna see the characters up close and personal. So now let's do the test again and see how many enemies does it take before we hit our 30 FPS cap.
So as you can see, we increased our entire number by over a hundred additional characters. And again, I'm sure I can probably go a couple more before we start seeing the 29 on the right side here. But we actually have reached almost 380 enemies, like more than 50% increase just by reducing a couple texture quality to uh, the lower quality and in this type of games you can't even see the difference like you don't even see the enemy and also the player will be continuously killing the enemy so this number will never reach up to that high that means you can always maintain an above 30 fps in this type of game this is absolutely amazing i really hope this little tip helped you out in your game if you wanted to have large enemies and you're always worried about you know dropping your fps every time the enemy spawns in take a look at their textures and see what quality it is and one thing you need to note is that these textures when you set this maximum texture size to 256 this is actually capping the texture to that level but if you leave it at zero this is uncapped so this could be as big as 4k and you don't really need 4k for all of these textures if your game if you want your game to run on at least 30 to 45 fps which is pretty smooth for a lot of these games again you don't need 380 enemies at one time alive in your game so you could always feel free to change this up to like you know 512 or even make it 1k by making it 1024 and that would make a difference as well so folks i really really hope that this tip helped try it out in your game and let me know how that worked out for you in the comment section below looking forward to hearing from you if this video had helped you in any way hit that like button so this video can reach out to many more developers out there who are trying to spawn large pool of enemies but struggling with the FPS due to this. Thank you very much and I'll catch you on the next tip video.